What's up guys, it's me Hail Riders, we're back with some more of the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. Now, I really have to apologise for this next bit. Um off camera, when I was trying to get Fraps to record the game again, I um dumbly enough, at the end of the video I turned Fraps off, the game started running perfectly fine. And then, as the idiot I am, I went to fight the Grand Champion, forgetting the fact I wasn't recording it. And I won. So, I may as well, I really have to apologise for that, I really did intend to record that because that, that is the most important part of the arena game, to be honest, the part involving the arena, the most important part is becoming Grand Champion, of course, oh, oh there goes that guy, but um, I really apologise for that because I'm sure a lot of you wanted to see that. Also wanting to see how you can defeat Agonite Gromalok without having to actually fight him. I may as well just explain. So, um, basically, after I, uh, I brought him back the d journal, he started talking about the fact that he didn't want to live anymore. So when I, um, offered to, uh, fight him in the arena to become Grand Champion, he accepted willingly. Then I went over to, um, Isabel, who's, uh, over here. I went over to her, told her. She said I was Stop mad, and then told already. me to choose a name. And you get an option of names to choose, and uh, the one I chose was um, Shadow Step, seeing as how my character's called Shadow Skin. I thought it worked perfectly fine, and I actually like Shadow Step more than Shadow Skin. <laughs> I've gone with Shadow Skin now, so it's too late. So then I, w I just went up to the arena, and um, I, I, I beat him, basically. If, when you go up there, he won't attack you. He would, he would run straight towards you, and he won't attack you. And then you, c you can talk to him if you want, and he'll ask you to kill him. Just, just to end it. So that's what I did, and when I did, it came up with a sign saying your your pre your killing has been observed by unknown presences, which basically means the Dark Brotherhood will now come and see me next time I sleep. And uh, that's basically it. When I came back, I spoke to Isabel, and she gave me this um, raiment of valor, which is the light raiment of valor, and this is basically just what it improves. It's better than the normal raiment. But it's still not brilliant. Okay, so it fortifies personality, athletics, health, fatigue, and health, which is more than the other Raymond did, and at more points. But still, it's not incredibly useful outside of the arena, and I don't plan to use the arena now that I'm Grand Champion. But that's that's basically all of what happened. I'm very sorry that I failed to record it for you guys, because I know some of you will be disappointed. Some of you probably couldn't care less, but for those of you who wanted to see me take on the arena, I really do apologise. I didn't mean... I didn't mean to miss it or fail to record it, because at the time I thought I was recording it. But, uh, may as well explain what we're doing today. In today's episode, now that we've defeated the arena... Pardon me. I've just had my breakfast <laughs> at 4 o'clock in the morning. Um... We are going to be spending a bit of that cash we got. So we got uh, five and a half thousand gold. So that's basically fi five thousand six hundred and four gold. So that's quite a lot. I plan to buy myself a house. Why am I going to buy a house? So that I can store everything I earn, everything I earn, everything I earn from each different quest I do in different boxes as well so there's going to be stuff which has there's going to be a chest that has arena stuff in it there's going to be a chest that has assassins like dark brotherhood stuff in it there's going to be a chest that has fighter guild stuff in it there's going to be a chest that has thieves guild stuff in it mages guild main quest dlc all that stuff so that's where i want to get a house so we're going to start off actually by just leaving this place and uh anyone who's done this before will know who's waiting outside for us when we become grand champion because, oh my god, this character has become a meme in himself. Okay. So, we're gonna go through this door. Who's that? Who is that? Wow, you're the Grand Champion. I saw your fight against the Grey Prince. You're the best. Can I, can I follow you around? I won't get in the way. Uh, yeah. We're gonna ask him to follow me because, well, god damn it, I want him to follow me. Golly, you're the best. I'm going to follow you and watch you and worship the ground you walk on. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, so this is the adoring fan. A lot of people find him very annoying. For uh, one major reason, probably, this is the fact that he can't fight. He has a knife, but he can't fight. He really can't. You don't want him fighting. Oh, God, is the game freezing again? Come on. Oh, son of a bitch. Really? Oh no, it's fine now, it's a, just a moment. Okay, so, um, he's gonna be following me around. 
But I'm not taking him on any quests. Don't think that for a second. We're going to go to the Imperial Market District. Because I'm going to sell off all the stuff I don't want. Which isn't much, to be honest. Because I've got a couple of items on me which I don't want. I didn't sell them off in between. Okay, so... What time is it? Have we got enough time? Yeah, it's just it's just got opening, so we've got enough time. Okay, so... Uh, I'm going to go down here to the uh, Brothers Trade Goods and sell off some of the crap I don't want. It's not much, but there is stuff that I don't want to keep on me anymore, so it's worth getting rid of it. This episode will probably be relatively short, but buying a house can be pretty tough, as it is expensive. What can I do? Even here, where you, it's the cheapest business. house that's in the Imperial City. Okay, so I'm going to uh, sell the Iron Longsword, because I've got a fine Iron Longsword, which is clearly better. I want to keep the Silver Arrows, they might be useful. Uh, Sil steel Dagger, not useful. Um, still Claymore, I'm still keeping. I don't want the rusty iron shield anymore because it's it's rusty iron. It's not good for you. Okay, so you drive a hard that? bargain. I'll keep that. Okay, let's use that code useful. Mm, wait, wait. What does it do? Fortify health, fourteen points. Hmm. Fourteen points isn't very much. Nah, I'll live without it. That's more than I'd usually pay. It's all the potions. I don't really want to sell those because they might be useful. I don't want, to, don't want to sell those either because they're still pretty useful. Oh, the silver goblet, that's being sold. Sell all this silver! It's not useful You've anyway! Made... You've made a good bit of. So be it. Did I haggle with this guy at any point? Mm, yeah, I think I did, otherwise it wouldn't be at 52. Come. Okay, so now that I've haggled with him, let's actually go and. Oh, I thought that was a person lying down the table then! <laughs> No, it's just a pile of cloves. Okay. Come on, my esteemed fan! You are the one YouTuber who watches my videos. <laughs> yeah, this is the one YouTuber who watches my videos, in essence. <laughs> that one view I get on every video I release. So, yeah, we're going to go to the office in Imperial Commerce, because this is where we can buy the house. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not a very good house, but it's a starting house. I don't plan to stay in this house forever. But it's, it's just the only Venusia one I can afford. Melisea, Venusia, office of Imperial Venusia. Commerce. You got complaints? Of course you got complaints! Who doesn't? <laughs> I like that. Let's talk to him about Imperial City first. You have complaints against merchants here? You file complaints with me. I fill out lots of forms which go to a lot of people who ignore them. What else did you expect? Justice? Go to the chapel. Talk to Zenithar. He'll take care of everything. Oh, uh, that says some rumors. Razan is a talented smith. One of the best around, if you ask me. Oh, that's the woman who sells the swords, isn't it? Okay, let's buy the house. Why? I mean, of course. All I have available right now is a hovel on the waterfront. Uh, yeah, we've got enough money. Really? Then you've just become a homeowner. Here is your house key. You'll find it in the waterfront district. It's not much to look at. You may want to spruce it up a bit with some furnishings. I'd suggest talking to Sergius Verus at Three Brothers Trade Goods in the Market District. I, I just want to quickly say, seeing as how it's popped into my mind, the, uh, recently I've gone back into playing Skyrim after a while because I got kind of got bored of it. As I, one thing that Skyrim, one problem for Skyrim with me was the fact that once you'd done everything, you didn't really feel the need to go back and do it for mo again for most things. I think there was only one thing I enjoyed doing more than once, and that was the uh, College of Winterhold, because that's actually a really good... Uh, I really like the College of Winterhold, actually, but um, one thing I really liked in Skyrim, now that I went back to play it, is the fact that you can have companions. I really enjoy having a companion with me, just going questing, like killing a couple of bandits for the Jarl or something. I've, I recently went back on Skyrim, started a new character who's a dark elf like this, and I'm doing a bit of a roleplay on my own. I'm not recording it, of course, otherwise you would have seen videos. But it's just a roleplay on my own, and I I got myself that um, woman who wants to brawl with you from uh, Whiterun in the um, in the tavern. But, uh, oh, this is really empty round here, isn't it? Yeah, but I added her as a companion, and um, I actually had real fun just going questing with her and telling her to do certain things, like telling her to sit in a chair and wait for me while I'm going to the Winterhold. That was, that was pretty fun doing, actually. That's one thing I must congratulate Skyrim for, was adding companions and doing it pretty well, too. I mean, of course, they're not perfect. Then The game isn't really designed for having a companion. 
it's not the major part of the game, but it's still really, really cool and fun, and I must congratulate Scarron on that. So, um, now that I'm off track, <laughs> I'm going back to Free Brothers Trade Goods. You may be asking why if you've just sold everything you don't want. It's because I can now buy some stuff for my house, and I've still got quite a bit of money. Actually, while I'm here, I might as well buy some more stuff for this, shouldn't I? Any money I've got left after this bit, I'll, uh, buy one. If I've got money left. <laughs> is this gonna be... Hey, adoring fan! Yes! Oh, great and mighty Grand Champion! Is there something you need? Can I carry your weapon? Shine your boots? Back rub, perhaps? Uh, no thanks. Golly, you're the best! Golly, you're the best! Okay, let's talk to this guy. Say, you look like someone that could help us out. Having a bit of trouble with another merchant in town who goes by the name of Thorinir. I don't really care, sir. Let's barter we'll with see. you. Oh, looks like there's no bartering with you, then. <laughs> Have a look okay, at my so wares. See what you've got. I'm you're sure the there's to something to, to see. Nope, you're not the one I need to talk to. Get out of my face! Farewell. Yes? Sergius Verus. Hello? What can I interest Hello. you? Oh, yep, this is the stuff I want. Okay, so, uh... Oh, we've got a house dining area, house kitchen, house sitting, house storage, and wall hangings. Right, okay, so I've got to buy all five of those if I want to complete the house. They're going cheaper than they normally would. I just want to haggle this guy to the max. Yes. I can't. <laughs> he is at the max. He's Only at the max, quality guys. goods for sale here. What so, can I um, interest you in? I'm just going to pull out a calculator a sec. One sec. We just... I just want to figure out how much all this is going to cost me. So it's a six seven four times five, I think. Yeah, they're all six seven four. Three thousand three hundred and seventy. Yep, that's that's all within my money limit. Okay, let's let's go for it. Did the money just go up? Did it just go up? No, it went down. It went down. That's a good. I I the like money that. just went up a second. Well, no, it just went down. That's cool. I've still got enough money. I'm not going to waste it on shit. I know Thank what this money's for. So, okay, so I've now bought everything for Sergius so and my house is complete. Before I go back to my house, I just want to make sure I've got. I want to buy some stuff for um, potion making because remember, I have alchemy as one of my. Um, as one. Where is it? There it is. I have alchemy as one of my things, but I haven't done much because I don't. I can't make very powerful potions as I've only got a mortar and pestle, and I haven't found many ingredients. Gotta learn English. I haven't found many ingredients because they've only got two effects currently. Actually, that's another thing I liked about Skyrim: how you could like you just add one of the ingredients and you find out their effect, and then mix them with different ingredients, you'd find more effects. I kind of like that, but I think it should have been also set so if you couldn't I find certain things, when you got it to a certain level, you'd automatically reason. find out a second Far more than or like, that. Would like in Oblivion. Have, I kind of like that how you had to figure it out for yourself. Okay, so um. We're gonna buy some stuff I from you. Yes, you have the stuff I'm looking for. That's uh, nope. We're gonna talk to you. We're gonna try and make you like I'm us listening. because we're, I'm a dark elf. Everyone loves dark elves, <laughs> except for these Was guys. Was that supposed to be a compliment? Yeah, you don't you. please. I'm sorry. Shizzle. I don't. Yes, yes. Yeah. Shit, don't I make that me one laugh. Totally wrong, didn't I? Oh, oh, come on! Wow. Seriously? Yeah, you're full of it. Was that? Yes, yes. That will get seen. Excellent. Okay, so can I How high could we haggle her then, do you think? Let's take it all the way up to 52 and see what we get. Let's go for a novice calcinator. Ah, you bitch. I want it at 50%. Any lower, I'm not buying it. I can't do that. You're a whore. Novice calcinator. Are you We're kidding me? Drive. Are you kidding me? Do you know how expensive this thing is? Right? It's 90 gold! I only have 300! Are you That's kidding me? Seriously, she wants me lower. <sighs> Thank you. That for a song. Let's see if I can get it a notch higher. I probably can't, can I? Pleasure okay, I can! Um, I doubt she's gonna want 44. Oh, I actually sold that! I actually bought that, great! Okay, so that's the last business I'm doing with this woman, Thank and I'm out of gold, pretty much. Hi, adoring fan. Um, let's go back to the house then. Then I super jump to the house. 
I've got, still got my calculator <laughs> open. <laughs> Close that. We don't need that anymore. Okay, so. All the way back to the house. Hello. Sorry, if, you, if you're going to hear barking, that's my dog going crazy over the bells, I think it is. Church sermons and all that. Okay. Here's the house. Let's see what it looks like now. Ta-da! It's certainly more presentable, isn't it? Okay, so what's lying around here? I want to empty the chest. Got a cheese and leek. Uh, what's in this chest? Buckled shoes. Uh, fucking chip pictures. Get back on the table with your friends. Physics in Oblivion are not built for this, I know, but... Yeah, no! Damn it! Ah! <laughs> Just knocked it over! Fucking hell, come on, game! Nope, oh, that's a bowl of tomatoes! Ta-da! Now I've just got to get the other picture up. <laughs> yeah, Oblivion's physics are not built for moving stuff. Not in the slightest. No! Nope. You stupid thing! You know, fuck it. I'm just taking those tomatoes, a spoon, the pitcher, and we'll pretend that never happened. Okay. So, uh, in this chest, there's nothing. In this chest is uh, a bunch of clothes. I'll take them all out because I want them for myself. I want to leave the space for myself. Okay. So, uh, which chest shall I put all my arena stuff in? I'm going to designate some chests now. Okay, so, this one over here is going to be where my arena stuff goes. This is going to be where my Fighters Guild stuff goes. This one over here is for my Assassin... My, I can't call my Assassin's Guild. Dark Brotherhood. And this is going to be Thieves Guild. You may be asking, where's the Mage Guild and Main Quest? Well, there's just not enough chests, so by that time, hopefully I'll have enough money in order for me to get a new house. Okay, so what weapons would be in a... Uh, not really a weapon I could put in here. I'll just put my... um. I'll just put my rip... That's my helmet. <laughs> I want my helmet back, thanks. I just put the light raiment of valor, and I need another weapon. I need something else to put in here. Uh, nah, that'll be fine. Just put the raiment of valor in there. Something to uh, be a souvenir. Okay, and now I'm going to put all my fighters guild stuff in here, which is basically just my armor and weapons. So, I'm keeping the bow. It'll still be useful, but I'll put uh, silver arrows and iron arrows in there, as well as my claymore. Okay, so in there should be all the stuff that will end up being used in the Fighters Guild. Yeah, I imagine that will be. I'm now just going to put some clothes on. <gasps> Pardon me. Uh, yeah, it, it doesn't look good, but it, it will work. <laughs> it will work. It will work, I'm telling you. It will work. <laughs> the, the blacksmith one looks better. <laughs> now let's go sell some of these clothes, because, well, they don't work. So, yeah, you may be saying, I don't exactly have a weapon, do I? Well, I will ex Oh, no, I forgot to make him leave in there. That was one of the things I wanted to do. Okay, so, uh, you come over here, little fire, little guy. Okay, you're gonna wait. Yes! You're gonna wait here. Yes, here? right here. Right here? Okay. So, we're leaving you behind. <laughs> I'm gonna sell all this shit that I've had to pick up in order to move it. And now, I think that's probably where I'm gonna end the episode today. There's just one thing I want to do first. Whether I, whether I'm going to do it in today's episode, Hello. I don't know. <laughs> now I'll, I'll save it. I'll tell you. What, I'll cut off the episode at the end of this, and then I'll um go away and. Uh, May I help? I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll just do it. <laughs> some of my words. I've, I've lost the ability to speak. Let's go new buy from. some new clothes. I'll be awesome. My mercantile increased. Yay! Oh, I forgot to drop off the iron. No! Shit! I just sold the ring! Okay, can I, do I have an autosave? Yes, I have an autosave! I must remember I not to sell that fucking Let's ring. Do business. I don't want to sell that fucking ring. You? Oh, shut up, Molly. Okay, so selling all this crap. I don't want to That's sell the deal. ring. Oh, my nose just played up. I want to sell all this. Got to put the iron shield back because I totally forgot about that. Good day. Oh, I also forgot about my hammers. Oh, thank you. Ah, oh, nothing of use. Fuck you. 
Okay, no. I'm not wearing anything. <laughs> Don't look! It's hideous! Okay, I'm gonna have to buy an elegance and just grab some good looking clothes. Because, well, I wanna wear some good looking stuff. You've, You've come to divine elegance because you didn't I give a shit. The finest goods at uh, lowest prices in all uh, Let's just go with these. An excellent. Oh, I don't want that. I want that. I've got exactly 120 gold. That's pretty cool. Okay, that looks fine. I'm just gonna drop my shield off and uh, a couple of hammers as well. I forgot about the hammers. So yeah. I think that's pretty much all for today's episode. But um. I'll just get back to the house before I properly finish it. Greetings, Dunmer. Good afternoon. How goes it? And in. Okay. Oh, it's the grand champion. Hello. I can't believe. Okay, we're gonna drop the shield in. I'm gonna do all that. And I'm gonna drop the repair hammers in. I've gotta get rid of them at some point, aren't I? Uh, so let's drop that in too, because I don't need all those. And, oh shit, I'm, I'm just gonna go outside and throw them away. <laughs> uh, let's go to the river and just throw it all away. Civilized, does it? Ziora, by Ziora. Okay, so uh, that's where I'm gonna end it for today's episode, guys. But like a favorite if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to join the Rag Clan today, and uh, I don't know what else to say to be honest. But next time we will be starting the Dark Brotherhood, which is a. Uh, it's the f one of the four girls I want to start first because I shut up. It's the one I want to start first because it's the one my character is probably it's best aimed for. With him, one of his abilities being sneak, of course. Usually I don't put sneak as an ability, but I want. I thought it'd be useful for my character. And then we've got all this shit, and uh, of course those three come in useful. And then those all go. My my character's kind of aimed at being an assassin style character. Which is why I named his thing the Ranger, of course. But, um, yeah, so next time we will be starting that off, and I'll start it off by going to sleep. <laughs> That's the great way to meet the Dark Brotherhood. Go to sleep with them. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Like, favorite, enjoy this video, subscribe to join the Red Club today. I'll see you all next time. Hello, shut the fuck up!